everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today I have another Love With Food box to share with you and I'm always excited when I get a Love With Food box because you guys know I love to eat and Love With Food is awesome because they give you healthier snack options which is really, really cool. Um, and from brands that I've never like heard of. So it's really neat. A lot of the, the, the snacks that are in here are all natural or organic and it's just a fun way to try out some new items. And another thing that Love With Food does that I think is awesome is that for every box sold, they actually donate a meal to a hungry child, which I think is really, really awesome. And not only that, but you guys can actually get your very first Love With Food box for free. And I'll have all that information down in the description box below. But I'm hungry. I haven't had lunch yet. Let's get into the box. So I believe this is actually the November box, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I believe this is the November box. This was sent to me. Um, and when they contacted me, it was like towards the end of November. So I'm just now getting it. But the theme for this month was baby it's cold outside and I love this picture here and on the inside they list all the products um, and what's really cool is that they actually list the ingredients in here so if you happen to be allergic to something it's really easy to just look at the product ingredients and know right away if you can eat it or not um, also there's little um, tabs under each one and it tells you if a product happens to be vegan non-gmo if it's organic um, if it's gluten free so I think that's really cool as well speaking of they do have um, a few different box options they have just the regular love with food box they also have a deluxe love with food box which is kind of like um, a super size box it has double the amount of snacks and that's great if you have someone at home you want to share it with or if you have a family um, it's great because you get um, more snacks to share because I know a lot of the time I get some of these products and they're gone by the time Blake gets home so if it was like a deluxe box we could definitely share um, they also have a gluten-free box as well, and the prices for those are a little bit different. All that information is on their website, so definitely check it out. So the box looks like this, and I'm going to just start with the first things I see. And this is from Likey? Likey? Laiki, I don't know, or it could just be L-A-I-K-I. -I. I don't know if you guys know how to pronounce this, let me know. These are red rice crackers, and the ingredients for this are rice, oil, and salt. It says... Brace, oil, salt, nothing else. And let's give it a taste. That's actually pretty good. I like that. It is quite salty though, I would say. But I've been craving like salty snacks lately. So this is nice. It's also, like I said, it only has three ingredients in it. So that's pretty cool. The next thing in here is Fruit Bliss. Um, these are sun-dried mini figs. All natural and preservative free. No sugar added on the go size. And they look like mini dried figs it's good it tastes like a dried fig and because there is no like added sugar it's not like super duper sweet so it's pretty good um this is from dick and jane baking company it says education in every bite um these are smart educational snacks and these happen to be their states and capitals so they look like little like cookies and on each cookie there's a picture of the state and it tells you um state capital so that's kind of fun it tastes like a sugar cookie but really like crunchy more like an animal cracker style um it's not overly sweet there's not a whole lot of flavor there but it's nice kind of tastes like a shortbread cookie too um the next thing in here are some chocolates from is it Gailan? I'm not really sure how to pronounce this. I've had these chocolates before several, several times. Um, and I, I just never know what they're, I mean, how to pronounce it. And there's two of them. One of them is a milk chocolate and the other one is dark praline. You guys have probably seen this, even if you've never tried it. Um, they're usually in like a box and the shapes of these truffles are usually like seashells or like seahorses and stuff like that. I'm going to go ahead and try the dark chocolate one. I'll save the milk chocolate for Blake because I know he prefers milk chocolate and I like both dark and milk. And this one is in the shape of a seahorse. Um, and this is the dark chocolate praline. It's funny because I think... As I've gotten older, my tastes have definitely changed a lot, and that definitely includes dark chocolate. I used to, like, hate the stuff and not want to touch it, and now I'm kind of getting into it, and I kind of like it. Um, so let's give this a taste. Definitely has a nice dark chocolate shell to it. Um, it's not, like, too, too bitter. It's actually really nice. And then the, fiddle, the filling, which I guess is, like, the praline, does add a little bit of sweetness. I like the little bit of texture in there. I feel like there's, like, sugar crystals. It's really good. I like that a lot. If you like dark chocolate, you like that. I'm sure the milk chocolate is delicious as well. Like I said, I've tried these before. 
and they're pretty good. So the next thing in here is from Marlowe's Bake Shop and this is a soft baked biscotti and this is the flavor Midnight. It is double chocolate espresso. And it's just a little biscotti. I'm not a huge fan of biscotti just because I feel like they're really dry but this one actually says soft baked on it so maybe it's a little bit better. It doesn't feel super soft. Well, yeah, it's not really that soft. <laughs> but maybe it's just not as like dry as like other biscotti. Let's give this a taste. Again, like I said, I'm not a huge biscotti fan, but I'm willing to give it a try. It smells very chocolatey and there's like chocolate chips in there too that I can see. It's not bad. Again, it's not my favorite. It is a little bit dry, but it's definitely very chocolatey. Maybe if you drink coffee or something, I know that those are really good like dunked in there. Um, but yeah, it's alright. It's not my favorite. Um, the next thing in here is a packet. And this is from Whole Spice Napa Valley, which is cool because we used to live not too far from Napa Valley in California. Um, this is their all-purpose salt seasoning. Ingredients are sea salt, sugar, celery, chili, onion, turmeric, garlic, black pepper, oregano, and citric acid. Um, and there's actually a recipe on the back for baked sweet potatoes but this is actually really cool i love getting spices and fun things to help like with cooking and stuff and there's a good amount in here definitely um enough for several different meals or whatever you want to do so i'm obviously not going to taste this but i am really excited to use that probably maybe tonight i don't even know what to make for dinner but maybe i can incorporate that um I think this is the last thing in here, and there are a couple of, like, cards in the box as well. But these are from Chips Happen. Um, these are gourmet tortilla chips. They're non-GMO, they're gluten-free, vegan, and they're made with rice bran oil. And the flavor that I have is Sinfully Sweet Heat. So I'm assuming it's going to be kind of, like, a cinnamony, maybe with a hint of, like, spice to it. Yep, there is, there's a bit of cayenne and some lime in here as well, so... That's really interesting. It's going to be sweet but spicy. I do like that combination. So let's see. That's what it looks like. And it is like a tortilla chip. And it has like some seasonings on it. That's not that bad. I wish there was a little bit more salt to it. I love when you get a mix of like sweet and salty. So you definitely taste the cinnamon. And that adds like kind of like a sweet kind of like churro taste to it but there is a little bit of cayenne pepper in there and you can definitely taste it and feel it there is a little card in here from the chocolate company so you can save 10 percent on your online order use the code chocolate 10 um and then there is a little gift card promo in here from Le Tote. it's netflix for women's fashion it's a 25 dollar gift card so that's pretty cool i haven't tried that that um service yet so maybe we'll give it a try and then this is really neat um there's actually every day with rachel ray and there's 30 minute meal recipes in here and yeah that is all for the november love with food box again i will post their website down below as well as information on how you guys can get your very first box for free thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys next time bye